Hey friends, it's Jesse, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. I'm currently in black and white because I'm going to be doing a palette bingo using my five Nomad Cosmetics palettes. They just announced their Costa Rica palette and it comes out the day that this goes live. So Monday, the 20th. 3rd, 22nd. I will link their page down below if you are interested in checking out their products, but I'm just so excited for their new palette. I couldn't wait, so I decided to do a palette bingo. We're going to randomize some shades, and you're going to see this lovely look I created in color. So let's go ahead and dive in. In my collection, I currently have five Nomad palettes. So I think what I wanna do is I wanna randomize one shade from each palette. And then if I need an extra shade, I can always dip into one. I'm very nervous. These are all very different. I mean, I'd say most of them are pretty colorful, but the Haunted Europe palette, I think might be a little bit of a trouble because it's all neutrals. Let's go ahead and start with the America's Parks palette. So one through 15, the number I got is six which is this gold shimmer right here. This is the shade Mammoth Cave. Not too bad. I feel like gold would be pretty easy to work in. You can use that as like an inner corner shade. For Whistler Snow Lodge, let's go ahead and generate. We got 12, which is one, two, three, four. Shade number 12 from the Snow Whistler Lodge palette is the Bucking Grape shade, which is this forest green. Honestly, I feel like this is a good shade too. This goes good with the gold. I feel like off to an okay start. The Fete de Provence palette. This one I'm a little bit nervous about. This is very colorful. I've loved playing with this one. 13. 13. 13 is the yellow shade. Mille de Lavande. It is a beautiful mustard yellow. Okay, guys. This is not going as poorly as I thought it would. The things I do for content, really. Now we're moving in to the bigger 18 pan palette. So let me go ahead and adjust my maximum number. Let's do the Haunted Europe palette first. For the Haunted Europe palette, the shade I got is 14. So if we go across 6, 12, 13, 14. 14 is this deep brown. It is Drag Sholm Castle. So a pretty nice deep brown. This is turning into a very grungy look very grungy color story i honestly thought this was going to be super bright and vibrant but i can work with this i can do grungy and the last palette pray for me is my nomad paradise palette this palette and my color story do not go together but we're going to pray to the eyeshadow gods the number i got is 12. so we go across 6 12. it is this aqua shade right here stingray not bad i feel like there's stuff we can do with this i can figure something out with this I had an idea of what I wanted to do when it was these four. It's the aqua that's kind of tripping me up. I think I can figure it out. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try and keep it to the color story, but if I have to pull in an additional shade or whatnot, that is okay too. Hey. Sorry, I'm like mid glam because I can't sleep. I'm going to do my best to try and get through this look. That was a very heavy call. So let's get into it. As I said, here is our color story. I saw Angelica Nikovist actually go in with her dark shades first. She was playing around with the new Nomad palette that comes out, I think on Monday. So the day that this video goes up, I do plan on getting that one, but I'm just so excited. So I had to play with some of my other ones while we wait. So I'm gonna start in with the green shade, which is from my Snow Whistler Lodge palette. And I'm just taking that on a Morphe M433. This is the shade Bucking Great, and this is super pigmented. I think I'm going to start by just kind of popping this in the outer corner and very gently diffusing it. The way she was doing it and the way she said she liked to do her Nomad mattes was the darkest shade first and then blend it out with the lighter shades. So that's kind of what I'm going to do, I think. And while I'm at it, I'm going to just very softly kind of blend that edge out just a very little bit. I am going to blend it with another shade, but just really quickly blending that out. We're looking a little questionable right now. That is okay. So this look is going to be more of like a grungy, smoky eye, I think is what I'm going for. Next, I'm gonna hop into my Haunted Europe palette. We're gonna go into the brown shade right here. And this one, I'm trying to decide what brush I wanna put it on. I think I'm gonna just go into this random e.l.f. brush. And this one, I'm gonna pop in my crease next to the green. I'm gonna blend it 
very gently into the greens. Is this gonna go horribly? Who knows? I don't know. This could be one of the most creative looks I've ever done, or it could be literally the worst thing I've ever done, but we're not gonna know until we try. And next, I wanna go into the yellow shade. The yellow shade is from the Fête de Provence palette. It is this mustard yellow at the bottom. One of my favorite yellow shades in my collection, honestly. And this one I'm popping in the inner corner in my crease and blending that up into the brown. This is where I'm nervous it's gonna get a little muddy. As you can see, I'm very scared. But with the shimmer that I'm planning on putting on the lid, it shouldn't be too bad. I think I might have overdone it with the brown a little bit. Next, I'm gonna go into my Paradise palette and the shade we drew is Stingray, which is this aqua one right on the end. I'm just taking this very lightly on a MAC blending brush and I'm just going to slowly buff that on the edge of the green, the deep forest green we did, and I'm just gonna smoke that out. And now I'm going back into that deep forest green. This one I'm smoking on my lower lash line up to meet the yellow. And I'm just very gently blending them together in the middle. Actually, this look might not be that bad. Using that same brush that I used for the deeper green, I'm also going to jump into the teal just to blend this very corner. Just to merge those together really seamlessly. I'm just taking a matte cream shade. This is from my Tartlet in Bloom palette and I'm just using that to sweep up underneath the edges. I just don't have a matte or bone cream in any of my Nomad palettes. So I just wanted to clean those edges up, make sure they're really nice and smooth. Next, we're gonna hop into the America's Parks palette. The shade that I drew is Mammoth Cave, which is this gold shimmer. And it's kind of like a super shocky texture. So I don't feel like I have to spray my brush down before jumping into that. And I'm just going to start popping that on my lid. I'm going to go about halfway. I do want to use a different shimmer just kind of right here to merge the dark colors with the gold. But this should work for the majority of the lid. Using that same brush, I think I'm going to go into Soa Mousse out of my Snow Whistler Lodge palette. This is a brown shimmer. And I'm going to pop that very gently over the edge of the gold onto the green a little bit, and then we can blend it all together. Here is what we are looking like so far. I still have to do liner and lashes, but I think I'm gonna do my inner corner highlight real quick. For my inner corner, I'm going into my America's Parks palette and going into, I can't really figure out what that says. Something Valley, but it is a shimmery yellow shade. I'm just popping that in my inner corner. I feel like that would be perfect to brighten it up, especially because I used the yellow shade in the inner part. And for my brow bone highlight, I'm gonna jump into this kind of like shimmery white shade from my Haunted Europe palette. This is in my current A to Z project pan, so I figured it's a good excuse to use that a little bit, especially because we've already used all the required shades for the look. I think I might have actually pulled this look off. Once I add my lashes and liner, I think we're gonna be golden. For lashes, I'm gonna go into this pair of Lily Lashes. This is in the style Gaia or Gaia. I still don't know how to pronounce it, and I used these in a look not too long ago. But I actually really like these. I feel like they're dramatic enough, but still subtle that they don't look absolutely crazy. I'm using my lash glue from Duo. This is the clear lash glue plus vitamin C. I just put my glue on my lashes and I'm gonna draw some pretty dramatic wings. This is the eye look completed. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face and I'll meet you back. This is the final look, my friends. What do we think? I actually think we pulled it off. I think I might have pulled this off. Is it my favorite look I've ever done? I don't think so, but I feel like I did it. I feel like I was able to pull off a cohesive look. I just popped on some very natural blush and a nude lip. I felt like a nude lip just seemed fitting with this with how dramatic the eyes are. Honestly, I'm pretty shocked. I thought this whole video was going to go a whole different direction. I thought we were gonna have a much brighter color story to work with. The grungy tones are winning lately. Let me know if you like this type of video. I would love to do more of these style like palette bingo type things. I think it was a lot of fun. It definitely challenged me creatively. It was definitely an emotional journey journey, but I'm glad we made it through together. I actually am not mad about how it turned out. The only downside is it is the middle of the night. I am now going to go wash all this makeup off my face and probably just go watch TV, but I really like it. The more I look at it, the more I actually really like this look. So 
go us. That is all for today's video, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me for this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, let me know if you'd love to see another palette bingo. Maybe I can try a different brand. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already so you don't miss out any of my using what you own type content, panning content, all that good stuff. And with that, I will see you all in the next one. Bye friends.